everyone, it's Lisa. Um, this is my second vlog. I am at Procedure plus six days. Um, I had my procedure at the Spire Parkway last Monday um, in Birmingham. Lovely place, lovely people. Um, immediately was meant to feel completely at ease with regard to the procedure, with regard to the surroundings, anything that I needed, anything that I needed to ask or or anything that I was unsure of was immediately catered for. Um, I got there about 9.30, didn't go down till around 12 o'clock um, for my particular procedure. Um, and I was there for a, a few hours after that time, so I left about four. Um, I don't think I, I reacted particularly bad to the procedure. Um, I wasn't sick while I was at the spire, um, but I was sick just before I got home. Um, and with regard to that, it's not exactly um, sick in the literal sense. It's not acidic or bile. It's um, very watery sick because obviously you're only sipping water and the evening before the procedure you're not eating any solid foods. I was worried about the sedation. I was worried that I would feel the procedure and I absolutely didn't. Um, I got no sore throat. Um, I got no sort of sensation that any endoscopy had been down my throat. I felt completely fine. I didn't actually believe it had been Following done. on from that, Monday and Tuesday, clear liquids, um, lots of water, sipping juice, squash. Um, I have my squash extremely weak at the best of times, so I had just normal squash. Um, again, sips, small sips. Um, please don't be tempted to drink big gulps because I think that may be the turning to things online that some people can eat after a few days, um, but in line with the Gastric Bloom Group's own rules and own sort of advice, please stick with the, the liquids, the clear liquids for the first couple of days, um, and then moving on to, to um, more substantial liquids for the up until day 14. Um, so like I say, day six now, um, I have managed on, on Wednesday, I managed, a quarter of a protein shake, not much, but a quarter of a protein shake, um, and around a half of a cup of soup that I managed on Wednesday. Um, again, you know, it's gonna take some getting used to. Thursday, I managed to keep a whole protein shake down, so there's an immediate improvement with how much volume I could take. I've had lots of contact from the Gastric Bloom Group, Julia. She gave me a ring on Tuesday just to make sure everything was A-OK -okay, um, and gave me some tips and advice. Just asked me how I'd gone on with the procedure, how I'd gone on with the sedation because she knew I was worried um, and different things that, you know, just, just things to put your mind at rest really. Um, so yes, absolutely. Um, their app support package is second to none, fantastic. I couldn't be happier with their support package. I've also had a, a lovely call off the Spire nurses as well to make sure that everything's in place, everything's okay, everything's all right moving forward, um, which I thought was really kind of them. Um, really nice as well to hear from a medical professional that you you know you feel comfortable and completely at ease with those people as well. They were generally interested in your well-being after the procedure, so it's not just about money. It's completely about you, your journey. They want you to succeed. It's not an in, bang, out, you're gone. It's um, very much a 12-month a procedure. It's a 12-month support package. Um, maybe a little bit longer with the Glass Street Bloom Group because I think they give 18 months with the 12-month Orbera 365. Um, and looking forward to week two. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is I've lost seven pounds. So hopefully when I catch up